Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Battle Brothers of Me, Cornish Knight, and the Kurno, uh, the Sons of Kurno. We just had a nice little battle up here, butchered a whole load of bad guys, and now we had to get back. One of our guys got a broken nose, which isn't fantastic. Come on. Let's speed up time a bit, get him down to this road. I must admit, the speed up time ability is really nice, though you have to be massively careful about it. Didn't we have like a time thing with this? Ooh, I think I've actually taken off the, um, because it's literally been a small update, I think we've actually taken off the Ambition's time, time frame. That's awesome. To be honest, I'm really happy about that. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't have minded if it was still there. But if they'd kept it like as a nice big juicy sort of like large like like two months or something, something that was more respectful and uh, I don't know, I just like it like the come on, I clicked you to go there. Grain six hundred crowns. They are now open towards us. Terrified villagers, villagers terrified of unknown horrors. Few potential recruits. Let's sell off some of this stuff because I need to be getting some money and not going to give me a good price for that. How goes the food situation? They're okay. Maybe just grab a little bit. Me we off. No, I do like that. I like the fact that they've gotten rid of the ambitions time frame. I hope they've gotten rid of the ambitions time frame. Get a friendly relations. Friendly shouldn't be too bad. Probably be the next one, next mission that we do for them is what we basically need to kick to kick it off. What's he got? What have they got in town? Temple for healing. I might just step in there and get my guy healed up. Mm, could do with some more armor, really. I haven't got much money. They're being attacked. Come on. Can't do any jobs for them, but we can sell this at a bit of an improved price. Attack dog, perhaps, maybe, but not yet. That would be nice to get, but it's so expensive. If I was going to fork out money, I'd want to fork out money for caravan hand. Maybe get another person on board. How good are they? Quick. Ooh, he can really, he's got a lot of stamina. If that is the case. If that's the case. That kind of stamina build is really, really good for two handed weapons. I would need, though, for him, I would be needing to get him some actually decent armor.
cool contract. Welcome, welcome, good to see you. I need an armed escort of guards. The pack is delivered to a man by the name of Hilbert the Elder in Birkheaven. Oh, how, interested you, how interested would you be in doing this for me? How many crowns are we talking? I need more for doing this. Look at the offer. So is it going to Elder in the Northwest and Birkhaven? Okay, so where's Burke Cavern? Oh boy, that's a long way. I mean, the only possible route was to get a ship, but then you're stuck all the way out there and we'd have to traipse all the way back. I'll consider it at the moment. How's I've got enough money. Food lasts us four days. Come on, I just need one more job. Okay, that's not great. Trent and the fox answers around realizing you left him no out, which will save face in his eyes where as Lewis says he's about to kill you, it'll be the end of him, but he's not he'll go out with a suicidal pride intact. But the look fades, the embarrassment and humiliation takes place, he sees his weapon and spits and remarks that he was only having some fun. Uh, God what's his problem? He's a brute. Great. That's perfect. Now he's going to be unreliable in battle. Just need work. Five days left to pay. Okay, I'm on. Ooh, disappearing villagers, that might not be good. As you take stock of your inventory, a rather well to do man spots you heads your way. You announce himself as being the employer of. Heinrich, Heinrich the Guildmaster, an influenced person in Heimerhanden, but wishes Hammerherden, but wishes to talk business. More ears. You find Heinrich the Guildmaster reading a scroll. He throws the paper at you and asks you to read off the names. The handwriting is difficult, but not more so than the names themselves. You stop and apologise, stating you not you are not from these parts. The man nods and takes the scroll back. It's all right, Selsod, if you're wondering where were the names of men, women and children who have passed in the last week. Last week? There is a lot of names in that list. The man, seeming to read you, nods somberly. I, we are in a bad way. So many lives lost. We believe it's the work of those foul creatures, beasts beyond our ability to reason. Obviously we'd like to find and destroy them. Would you be interested in such a task, Mr. Ney? man, my friend, it's crimes in advance. Okay, that's so always going to give us, accept the offer. Set the contract. It's morning. Hunt down the tires thing, how are we done? Okay. A woman runs over, over out of a hut stop. You're almost out of breath. She so asks you, have you seen a boy? He shakes your head no. She puts her hand out. He's about yay high. A mop of brown hair, na not not naturally, but the kind of like saw like mud. When he smiles, his teeth are like stars, bright and scattered. You shake his head no, in your head no in a second. He throws a good rock, throws it far. I told him not to sow his strength when the lord's men were around, at least to take him to the army. She half blowing a loose strand of hair of eye. 
Well, shit, anyway, if you see him, let me know. I think he's mine anyway. Beware of the dark beast. We'll be bushwhacking folks around here. Before you can say anything, the woman picks up her long clothes and trundles back to a hut. Uh, that's not a good sign, folks. Let's get through these clumps. I hope they're dire wolves. To be honest, I know this sounds like main. Oh, fine. Thank goodness it's dire wolves. He's going to be a liability. No way about it. If that's the case, I'm going to take that off of him. Give him that. He can have that. It's just going to get nasty straight up, no lying. Because the reason I'm hoping for direwolves, it's now there's some far worse things roaming around and basically... I suppose what you could say is that there are basically now three factions in the game. Which are... Well, they're basically technically four factions. Which are like the human faction, like bandits, brigands, raiders, orcs, and goblins, and then you have the undead, of course. But you now have like basically like the beast faction, which is, I hope they're going to be wanted to be developing, which tends to be made up of like dire wolves and um, what the creatures that have basically replaced the ghouls. Are they? Why are they coming after me? No, go away. Seriously, like literally every. Are they literally going to take my my contract? No, fall back. Uh, this is not good. I just have to wait and see who wins. It looks like the dire wolves are going to lose. That's annoying. Okay, so we actually killed... Go away. When you step high the girl must have almost closed, almost need to sleep. What the hell is the gods on your hand, cell sword? You heard at the nap of the belt, of the pelt, black blood ropes robes out from the neck and spatters the floor. One of the beasts you were looking for. If you need evidence, the rest I got, I've got for waiting outside. The man holds hand, a hand up, staying you. One is significant. Right here. Those guys are tough. Yeah, some bang. Oh, we can't take those guys. Are they open? They're friendly. Get a friendly with a relations with a civil civilian faction. Okay. Need to get to the road. I'll at least get to a watchtower. There we go. Deciding that Hamadon is a good place to invest your effort, you decide to offer the protection of the company and take up any work suitable to your talents. You act like a gentleman in your dealings with the locals, encouraging your men to mind their manners while in the settlement. There was, of course, some griping at first. Liffy was sorely disappointed to give up brawling with the farmers, especially w with the sons of Colonel spending so much time in Hamad Hammerudin. But you convinced the man that having a friendly base of operations is important to your line of work, as it meant getting better prices on the market and more people willing to join your motley band. It's also much less tiring to have not having to dodge the militia all the time. You even enlisted for men to do some small task in exchange for nothing but goodwill. I found that little brat who wandered off drag dragged him right home. Trenton the fox brags quickly out outvidden out outvidded by Stephen. I went to the market for the old outvidded by Stephen. I went to the market for the old spinster to split her firewood for the winter and even put on her washing outer washing, but I drew the line at recruiting tre tre rescuing tre treed cat. They're all basically back up, that's good. Come on quickly before the bandits get to us. That's nice. We got that was basically the completion for the thing, which is really good. It will also mean that he should be yeah, he's happy again. Got a bit of money in our pockets. Those bandit raiders on the other hand are gonna be a pain. They stole our contract. But here, we managed to scavenge the battlefield and take it off them afterwards. I do like the um, the basically the battlefield things on the map because it lets you see where there's, where there's likely to be conflicts. Ruin, 
burned ruins. That's going to be nasty, not with a lie. Just looking around, seeing some of the other settlements going north is going to be horrible. I mean, lots, yeah. Uh, is that the only road north? It is. I think they should put some more roads in, to be honest. Like, have some which maybe take a bit longer, but are a lot safer to travel. Oh, and now they have a contract. Oh, I need to pay, we need to be paid more for this. Fine, fine. Okay, accept the offer. Let's go to the caravan. Please not let the mercenaries be on the road. Suddenly just realised we're going back the way we just came. Uh, maybe the militia will have been done for them. What's, what's that? 30 Axis Camp. Oh, is that from the people we ran into? We spotted it. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Maybe I have to go and deal with them. Then there's the militia. They got rid of the raiders. Now they're well supplied. We got a little bit of pocket change. Nothing too bad. Let's see if there's anything worth picking up. Not particularly good state, but I need better armor. I need better armor. I need some food. For people who seem to like me more, they don't seem to give me particularly good prices. Uh, and that's better than nothing, I suppose, considering that we're going to be out of money soon. Eight days worth of pay. So I need to, I need armor that's better than s I know that's actually 65. That's really good. 55. Mm. Medicine is going to be a pain. I just realised. How's the pool of talent? Nothing fantastic. So if you were expecting a bit more of a gun ho episode, folks. Okay, another ambition. As the company takes a break, decide to address the men. Brothers, I want everyone to know that Sons of Kodo are not just cutthroats and errand boys, but skilled fighters on the, of the First Order. Word of our deeds must spread so the merchants and noblemen are, are begging us to take their contracts. What do you tell the men the company have set out to do? We need battle standard. So they can recognise from afar having one been made made is costly, so we need two thousand growth for this. We shall get comp the company strength up back up to a dozen men. It would make us a formidable force again, and it would allow us to take on more profitable work. I know the soldier feet are itchy for the open road. Let's try and go for get up to back up to a dozen men, which is twelve. So we only need to hire three more people. Come on. Of course, we need to get some more money under our belts first. I am liking this. The update is going well. Flagellant, uh, fl flagellant, flagellant. Sorry, fisherman. Uh, Who was it? Who had a bowyer? Weaponsmith, armorer, Fletcher, Fletcher. Let's try down here. Battle. Expensive. Background messenger might be worth it. And 
There's some better armour there. I need to be upgrading my men. Oh, there's some nice stuff. Can't afford any of it. We'll hold off. I do like the smoke. I, I, I do like the little effects they've put in. Contract. Oh, we still had that contract going, didn't we? Hunter. Background. Let's take him higher. See, what is he? Ooh, he's actually really good for archery. I don't have anything that I can give him at the moment, unfortunately. What's this? How much contract is this to get up to there? Okay, deliver a cargo. We're going to have to go back up to here and catch a boat. It's probably going to cost us a lot of money. But we should get paid back for it. So we should be able to break even, hopefully. Okay, I'm on. Do they have a bow? Short bow. How uh, much the boat? Yeah, we're going to Birkenhaven. I think, yeah. There we go. Finally, you've made it. Herbert of Elder standing there with the middle of the road, his hands clasped out over his stomach. A slick grin on his cheek. Sell the sword, I'm not sure you would make it. You lug the cargo up and hand it over. Oh, yeah, and what do you say that? The man takes the box and hands it off. The roads are rough these days, are they not? So we've made a good bit of money. We came out good on that, actually. Basically, we made 800 gold. Right. So what have they got in this town? People disappearing. Do they actually have a decent bow? That's the question I want to know. And the answer is no. Monkey feathers. Eh... Fine. I don't like... I prefer crossbows, always have. Grab another thing. Oh, the food here is expensive as anything, but we need food with four days off, out from starving. Give him that. Give him that. And the quiver of arrows. Give him the headscarf. Not a bad little setup. Also, give him a knife. Actually, no, give him that. It drops his initiative down, but that's actually a proper thing. The knife. Oh, actually, that's. The knife can be useful. I want to give him a better weapon, though. So, what's these contracts? Winds of the Councillor welcomes you, waving you in. Very well now. Very well. Now that you're here, would you please shut the door behind you? One of the guards poke, pokes his head in around the corner. You smile as you slowly shut him out. Turning around, you find Winds of the Councillor walking towards the window. He stares out 
Style Sanity Talks. I need something, it's, um, well, you don't need to know what it is, I just need, it, need something delivered to a fellow called Hamad Halmar, the Trade Master. He's waiting for it in Birkland. It's important that you actually get there, important enough for your armed escort, which is why I'm turning you and your company. What do you say, mercenary? How many crowns? Okay. It's not much, to be honest. not much to be honest but the reason I'm doing this all the way up okay really should have read the contract in finer detail remember folks read the fine print I thought it was gonna be relatively close by for the amount of money that it was being asked for what's our reputation We're recognized before any of you ask why I'm not like doing like banditry Banditry at the moment is like massively dangerous for low level characters because they send the, the the towns basically send competent mercenaries after you. So they are looking at actually decent equipment. Which as you all know is really dangerous. If they're just saying sending people like your own level after you, I wouldn't have so much of a problem. Let's help him guys, just cut this and get a cart back on the road. Some bread. I know I should be reading reading more of these, but then that one pops up all the time. Right. The reason I take like these small level contracts is because they help us um, build connections with towns. Which is always a useful thing to have. Mercenary company. We're in the north, so we're likely to get codes. Helm and the Trade Master welcomes you and a few of his men hurry over to take the cargo he claps you on the soda. I take it your journey went well? You spare him the details and inquire about your pay. Bah, a sellsword for him for Bernard. Get this man what he deserves. Really a sellsword? I mean, anyone actually wants to get paid for such a long trip. Another low level contract. You find Hel Helmar, the Trade Master, talking to a druid druidic monk. Cloaked in the shapes of more f familiar to beasts than men, he horns for a helmet, bearskins for armor, and hooves of deer cluttering around his chest and, and a brutus necklace. He's he's quite a sight seeing you, Halmar, the trade master weighs you in. Sellsword, it's good to see you. The druid pushes the man out of the way mid talk. He speaks with a wobble in his voice as though he was speaking from the depths of a cavern. A mercenary, ha. Surely you are a man of faith now. We of Birkland have lost the old stone. This relic is of great importance to us, for through it we can speak to the old gods and have our prayers answered. It has been stolen away in some manner or another to the lost king's castle. Go there and retrieve it. You glance at Helmar, the trade master, who nods. Aye, what he said. Let's talk money. 360, we need to be poor. Okay, so that's all we've got to offer. Obtain the Elder Stone from Lost King's Castle. Accept the contract. Anything decent here. At least food is cheap. As are... Oh, the repair tools aren't fantastic, but... We need a decent hood. I'll grab that. Just because I'm nervous about someone getting a critical hit on my archers. Uh, there's nothing fantastic besides that, unfortunately. Okay, that seems good enough. So where is this? So where is it supposed to be, this ruin? Oh boy. Yeah, this is bad. We're gonna freeze. But that's for next time, folks. I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can leave a comment on Facebook and Twitter at the links provided below. Or just leave a comment in the comment section if you want a character added to the run. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.